up, gentlemen? So today I got something a little bit special for you. It's a video that I filmed five years ago about how to reject somebody like a gentleman. So most of you guys don't know this, but I used to have like a membership only website. And what I did was I would make a bunch of videos, they would be unlisted and basically people could pay to go and have access to this additional content. Well, I have currently like over a thousand unpublished videos and I started going through them the other day and I was actually pretty impressed. Some of them have actually aged well. A thousand, I literally have a thousand unpublished videos. Some of them are workout videos where I'm actually taking you to the gym and we're working out together. I'm going over my favorite supersets. Other ones are topic driven like today's. My hope is that you guys dig this. I hope you guys like the videos. Um, the one thing you are gonna notice is that I'm a lot more low key and chilled out back then. But anyway, I just think it'll be a lot of fun. If you guys are excited and want me to release more of these unpublished videos, why don't you drop me one of these and be like, yo, Alpha, videos from the vault? I dig it. Let's have a crazy thing. None of these videos actually have any sponsors in them. And so why don't we drop one in now? Gentlemen, today's video is brought to you by my sunglass company, Enemy. If you are ready to reject the super high markups of other premium brands, gentlemen, you got to check out Enemy. I'm going to link to them down below. These are the Enemy Ones, Italian Mazzacholi Acetate, Zeiss Lens, super premium high quality here's another pair super sick right matte black silver detail black gradient lens or you could go classic enemies right super sexy we got four different styles enemy ones enemy twos enemy threes and the ever sexy enemy fours guys if you want to check out a pair of badass frames that will not break the bank I'm gonna link the enemy down below there's also gonna be a discount code but without any further ado gentlemen it is time to reject somebody like a gentleman. Gentlemen, great to see you again. So I think we all can agree, as gentlemen, that rejection sucks. It sucks to be rejected, but it also sucks rejecting someone, if you're a good dude. Now, if you're generally a dick, then you probably don't mind it. But I'm assuming that you are a good dude. It's right, so a real quick question, serious question. What do you think of the delivery? Am I better now? Was I better then? Do you like the slower, calmer Alpha M, or do you like the hyped up, I'm super energetic and I've drank a lot of caffeine version? Down below, let me know. In terms of rejection, you can reject somebody as a friend you can reject somebody as a business associate like somebody selling you something and you're like hey I'm not buying indeed they're both rejection but different than the romantic kind and this is the one that we're going to focus on today as in somebody wants a piece of that but you a aren't into them or B you're in a relationship and you don't want to F it up my question is who can blame them you're fantastic you are emanating this gentlemanly sex appeal now that you've stepped up your game and congratulations rejecting somebody sucks it's uncomfortable it's unfortunate and it stings gentlemen today we're going to help it sting a little bit less for both you and them in this how to reject somebody like a gentleman tutorial tip number one is don't lead anybody on right who out there by a show of hands has been let on, right? We, yeah. And it stinks because you get your hopes up. You're like, I think it's gonna. And they're like, eh, not exactly giving you like the Heisman stiff arm. And so you hang out, you progress, you get your hopes up. And then when they finally get around to letting you know that they're not interested, you're crushed, you're devastated. Gentlemen, same thing happens to people that you lead on. If you would just be upfront and honest immediately, it makes everything easier. Tip number two, avoidance is not the same thing as respectfully rejecting somebody. Because once again, who else hasn't like been like, oh man, I'm just gonna not return calls. I'm gonna ignore text, I didn't get it. Man up, it's a hard conversation to have, but one, you'll be glad you did. All right, so tip number one, tip number two are foundation principles. Now let's go into the steps on how you're actually going to reject somebody like a gentleman. Rejecting somebody like a gentleman, step number one is lead with a compliment. Yeah. Is you're a great lady, Brenda. God, you have such a way with cats. Or if you're into dudes, Tom, <laughs> you've got such a firm handshake, strong hands. The compliment should be kind of general. Don't go nuts like you are such a sexy beast. Any dude would be so lucky to have you. Then they're going to be like, well, cool, you're any guy, let's do this. Step number two, let them know that you appreciate and are flattered by the compliment. I'm so flattered that you would want to go out, but now it's time to deal them the rejection death punch. Step number three, I don't feel the same way about you. I'm in a relationship. I'm just not interested in you that way. 
way. Don't beat around the bush and don't hem haul. Take responsibility by saying I. Now normally, I would say that a gentleman doesn't lie. But when rejecting somebody, sometimes if you tell them the truth like, yo, you're a wildebeest, deuces, it doesn't go over real well. So I would say to craft and create a reasonable response that might be a little bit of a white lie. A standard stock rejection that you're ready to basically deliver at a moment's notice. So next time somebody comes up on it, wants to dance and give you some of that, big boy, you can just be like, hey, I'm in a relationship. Actually, if you followed the steps, it would look like, Hey, Janice, wow, you are an amazing dancer and I really appreciate the compliment and wanting to dance with me, but I'm in a relationship. See the difference? Exactly. Step number four, show appreciation, wish them well, and throw in a little bit of reassurance. That won't hurt. And that's it. Gentlemen, you've just rejected somebody like a gentleman. But there is an interesting caveat to this, and that is the drunken Hook up. Speaking of hookup, gentlemen, I'm hooking you up with a badass pair of super sexy frames at a ridiculous price if you hit that link down below and go check out Enemy. Remember, there is a discount code. Use it or lose it because it's for a limited time. Guys, it's not just my opinion that these shades are sick, sexy, and definitely premium. Seriously, <laughs> they're so sick. Anyway, guys, down below, I'm going to link to Enemy.com along with that limited time discount code. We also have other products that you guys are going to love. Minimal leather wallets, not to mention Alpha M accessories that are absolutely custom and killing it. Guys, hit the link down below. Now back to rejecting some spicy, actually less than spicy, senorita you might or might not have had freakiness with the night before. Alcohol is the great equalizer in terms of attraction. You know the story. You start drinking, all of a sudden people start looking a little bit more attractive than they might otherwise if you were stone cold sober. So the night progresses, you get increasingly intoxicated, one thing leads to another, you're watching Netflix and chilling, at your house. The next morning you wake up and you're like, yo, what did I do? And they're like, I love you. <laughs> That's actually never happened to me. <clears throat> but I've heard stories. If you find yourself in this situation, I would say the key to getting out of it is not being a repeat offender. Do not go back for seconds. Because if you did that, you violated tip number one, which is don't lead anybody on. Fact, <laughs> you're a gentleman. Fact, gentlemen are seen as sexy. As a result of your newfound gentlemanly status, there are going to be some people sniffing around. Not all of them are going to be tens, not even like fours. Right? There are going to be some threes and twos, and when this happens, you may choose to opt for the rejection. And if you do this, well, I'm confident that now you know how to reject somebody like a gentleman. So what do you think, gentlemen? Do you dig it? Do you like these old Alpha M videos? Do you want me to release more of them? If the answer is yes, release more. Drop me one of these, guys, because honestly, I've got a ton of them, and I am still super proud of this content, and I feel like it's important to get it out there. And so if you guys are down, I think I maybe will release like maybe like one a week or something like that, maybe on Sundays, make that kind of like the Alpha M from the vault you know, video day? I don't know. I mean, let me know. If you guys don't dig it, if you don't like it, let me know that as well. If you think that I need to just kind of like refilm these old videos and make them more current today, I just think, you know, they're, they're good videos. Or do you think they kind of suck and I should basically keep them where they are, which is unlisted? Guys, let me know. Thumbs up, right? If I get to 10,000 thumbs up in 24 hours, that will let me know, yes, keep doing it. If I don't, that tells me you're really probably not interested and I should just continue to make new content. But guys, I'm interested and curious as to what you think about this kind of style of video. It's not like reaction, but it's kind of like introducing an old video and bringing it and, and adding some, some fresh perspective. I just want you to know I think you're amazing and you are definitely going to need the advice that we talked about in today's video because as somebody that is as amazing as you are, you're definitely going to be in a position that you're going to need to reject somebody. And the worst thing you can do is lead somebody on. It sucks. It hurts. It's painful to get rejected, but if you do it in this manner and fashion, it definitely takes a little bit of the sting out of it. Guys, I love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.